Kenny Porter, always respect your opinion. Your son, uh, he'd been in there with Terrence Crawford or Earl mm -hmm. Spence. That's a fight people really want to see. How would you break down that matchup? Uh, you know what? I haven't thought about breaking it down, but both great fighters. Uh, known both of them a long time. Actually had a long relationship with Earl, working with him in the amateurs, the world championship team. Um, in camps, uh, worked with him when he came out here to spar Floyd. Terrence uh, was on the international squad with us over in, uh, let's see where we were at. And we traveled so much. We were in the uh, Pan Am trials, Pan Am games. He was on that Pan Am team with Sean. So uh, I haven't broke him down yet to see who, what, when, and where. Um, just from, you know, my uh, eyes of going up against both of them. Uh, Errol is definitely the bigger man that night on fight night, and that's definitely an advantage for him, also being a southpaw. Terrence, on the other hand, super slick and switching sides, which creates problems for, you know, everybody. So at this point in time, I don't have a, a clear-cut victor in that, but both guys got some advantages. Um, I think I would say right now uh, the size differential may be the Go biggest back. advantage for Arrow. Yeah. Who do you think gave your son like like more trouble? I mean we know Crawford just scored late TKO but I mean styles or fights I mean what did you take from your Sean's performance against this guy? Uh, I would say Arrow. I would definitely say Arrow. Um, we were in a battle two to nail round for round every way. Um, I thought in the Crawford fight, Sean was right there with Crawford. And uh, it was just, you know, a few mental mistakes on his behalf that put him in the situation that he was in. But I definitely aerospace. Okay. What about, who did you first start noticing first? Like, because you've known them both a while, but who did stand out and say, wow, he's special? Like, was it Crawford or Spence that first caught your eye? Or was it either of them? Oh, it would definitely be um, Errol. It would definitely be Errol. I think the first time I went up against Errol, I was up against him. He was about 18 years old. Yeah. And that was in the U.S. Championships. And uh, he beat my guy that I had representing our region, Region 5. And uh, that was the first time I knew that he was going to be good. Um, moving on from there, when we had the Olympic team, and he was part of that Olympic coaches, uh, the Olympic team, and I was part of the coaching staff. Um, the sparring that he had, which is probably legendary now, with Adrian Broner. Yeah, yeah. You know, he did really good that day, and that lets you know that uh, he was ready to do some really good things in the uh, World Championships that we were getting ready for. Thank you, man.